I'm Randy Forbes, President of the Congressional Prayer Caucus Foundation. For over 16 years, men and women who have belonged to legislative prayer caucuses in over 41 states across America have stood up and fought to defend and protect religious freedom in America. You know, it's always tempting for us when we have a right to believe that that right has always been here and that it always will be here. But that's not necessarily true. And that's especially not true with religious freedom. If you look at it, before the land was acquired for this building that's depicted behind me, the United States Capitol, this man, Thomas Jefferson, wrote the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom. In fact, he did it a year after he wrote the Declaration of Independence. He wrote that statute in 1977, but it took almost nine years before the Virginia General Assembly would adopt it into law, which they did on January 16, 1986. Now, after that particular time, that statute became the precursor and it became the foundation for what you and I know as our First Amendment of the United States Constitution, protecting our religious freedom. Years later, in the United States Congress in 1992, the Congress adopted January 16th as National Religious Freedom Day. The first uh, National Religious Freedom Day was held on January 16, 1993. And since that time, every president has celebrated that day with an official statement from the White House. You know, when you look at religious freedom, it's more than just the ability not to believe. It's also the ability to believe and to have faith. And not just to adopt that faith, but to actually live it in your lives. As you look across the country and we recognize that how important religious freedom is, we realize that every generation must do their part to make sure we keep that right alive for us. You can do a small part of that by simply standing up and celebrating National Religious Freedom Day on January 16th of this year. I hope you'll join me and legislators across America in doing that. And perhaps by doing that, we will do something to make sure that we're preserving and protecting our religious freedom, not just for us, but for our children and our grandchildren.